Hey guys, I can here again doing another video review. And this time I'm doing video review for the Funko, I think it's the Funko Legacy series. It, at least it used to be called the Legacy series, but it's now it's their Funko 6 inch scale Firefly um, Captain Malcolm Reynolds. Now, unfortunately, I didn't keep the box for this guy. Um, it was in a kind of a box style, window box style um, packaging with a with the character showcased on the front and then it had like an image of the character or I think on the left hand side of the box and then it had a brief bio for the character on the back and it had a showcase of some of the other figures which I want to try and pick up at some point but um, this is for Captain Mal or aka Nathan Fillion so uh, as he's uh, gone on to do other really cool characters over the years this is one of the kind of more memorable characters that he's done as well or one of the ones that kind of made made him uh, I'd say f I wouldn't say completely famous but it made his it made him uh, a household name so I would say as Captain Malcolm Reynolds uh, if anyone uh, as people some, a lot of people are a huge fan of the Firefly series and the Serenity movie uh, well, the short-lived Firefly series, I should say, and uh, Serenity movie. I know a lot of people were quite upset at the fact that it got cancelled so early on. It, uh, it was done by the uh, director Joss Whedon, who people may know from the Buffy the Vampire and Angel TV series. So, enough about the background of the uh, show, uh, onto the figure itself. Now, as I said, unfortunately I don't know the box to showcase, but he is made by a company called Funko and he comes with two accessories comes with this kind of um, western style uh, shotgun with the kind of bottom load that would kind of swing forward and back to reload and then he comes with this kind of like a six shooter but it's more of a kind of science fiction done six shooter in gold with a brown uh, paint it's quite nicely painted and it does have a holster that it will sit into quite nicely. Uh, the shotgun doesn't have any strap or anything so it can't go over his um, shoulder and he doesn't have any um, doesn't have any strap or uh, doesn't have any holster for it. Uh, he holds the shotgun better on his right or sorry left hand than he does on the right. So if I can just get it into his right hand. Or sorry, into his left hand. Jeez, I'm getting mixed up between my left and right. Hopefully it won't break the piece. Uh, I'm going to try and get it in off camera because it is a little fiddly. But it does hold it quite well when it is in his hand. So, there you go guys. He does hold it quite nicely in his hand. You can get it a little bit better than that but I don't want to force it to break the um, strap or break, break the trigger guard. Unfortunately, it's a bit cold over here at the moment, so his uh, joints, it's usually better when his joints are a little bit more pliable, when it's a bit more warmer weather, but when the plastic tends to get very kind of fragile if it's too uh, cold. So, his head is on a ball joint, so it goes left to right, and get, you can get some up and down on it, and some side to side. Uh, you can do 360 if you wish. He has a rubber soft goods or any rubbery style plastic coat you can take it off if you want but the problem is then you have the brown shirt underneath but his arms will still have the coat jacket uh, sleeves on so it'll look really odd his belt is actually a separate piece but it's glued in place with the holster on it uh, he has his brown stripe going on the side of his leg uh, his arms are on ball joints so it can go for, uh, rotate all around and out up and out. He has single jointed elbows which have a swivel. His hands are on a kind of weird ball joint. You can just about see it in there. So it can rotate around and get some posing out of it and it also has a joint on it for in and out. It's the same on the opposite side. The character likeness isn't too bad in some respects. Uh, in certain lighting it looks really really good but um, Again, as I was mentioning with the Diamond Select figures, his skin tone is painted on as opposed to like skin tone plastic that they used for the face sculpt. 
so it does tend to wash out a bit. Uh, it makes the figure look a little lifeless, like lifeless, I think, in my opinion. Uh, the paint apps aren't too bad; they're quite nicely done. Um, I don't have too many. Uh, I don't think I have that many paint issues with this guy at all. Now, I will get on to one thing near the end of the review about these figures. So. Bear with me until I finish with the rest of the articulation. So, legs are on kind of a ball joint, so it can go forward, backwards. Can't go back too much, it's hindered by the sculpt. But you can get into a sort of seated position. He has an upper thigh swivel, so you can swivel there. Double jointed knees, so you can get a good, um, almost n over 90 degree bend on his knees. Uh, nothing on the boot cuff, so there's no extra articulation there. He does have forward and back on the ankle, and then I think he has a bit of rotation on the ankle, but it's very limited. But he can get into some good posing. Uh, when I got him out of the box, he was a little bit stiff, so I had to give him the hot water treatment to uh, loosen up his joints. And one, the thing that I'm going to point out about his joints is you have to be very careful with these figures. For some reason, for in their infinite wisdom, or non, I don't know why, probably because of cost and it was cheaper, Funko decided to make figures using clear plastic joints. You can just see it on the side of the legs here. If I shine a light behind him, you can actually see the clear plastic joints and that is the same for his arms even though there's paint over it he actually has clear plastic joints in the arms as well and that's what makes them very very brittle um, I picked up other figures from Funko uh, when they were doing the Evolve line I picked up two of the Evolve figures uh, one of them isn't too bad it's survived but uh, the first figure I got which I can't remember which character it was but she came with kind of a sniper rifle so people out there might know which one I'm on about she kind of has like medic symbols on her her arm her lower arm and her legs all snapped on me because they all were using the clear plastic joints so I would say to companies out there please don't use clear plastic joints on your figures because they will just snap or at least poor quality clear plastic joints. I know NECA have had issues with clear plastic joints in the past, kind of doing translucent figures, and even Mattel when they did the um, was it the Green Goddess, and I think it was the Roboto figures, the plastic on those broke down after a while and just snapped. So it's clear plastic, if avoidable, I would recommend to not use it, but uh, in characters that are supposed to be translucent, it's kind of unavoidable. But NECA kind of swapped that around with their more recent um, pla kind of translucent figures. They do the plastic, like the bodies and the arms and stuff in plastic, but the joints they'll tend to do solid, which tends to hold the figure a bit more. So, just for size comparison, I have a trusty Stormtrooper from, I think this was the uh, Amazon box set Stormtroopers. So, he stands pretty well next to that. And just to have two of the galaxy's biggest rogues, you have Captain Mal with Captain Han Solo. Oh, and Mal just killed everyone. Yay! He is a bit loose on his joints, I will say that as well. The, since they use clear plastic joints, he tends to be a little bit floppy. But he's actually, he's, if you can get him standing, he will stand, but he does tend to flop as well. So just be careful on that note as well. So I can just get hand to stand for me. And I'll just put the story in the background. There is Captain Mal with Han Solo, young Han Solo, and um, and a Stormtrooper. And they scale up pretty nicely. So if you're thinking about getting these figures, again, recommend caution with the joints. Um, I want to try and get the whole cast because they do everyone, they do wash. Um, Kaylee, uh, the Doctor, River, um, oh, Jane, and Inara, is that the right pronunciation? And um, Wash's wife, who can never remember her name for some reason, who's Captain Mal's um, 
first officer basically or first mate on the ship and I can't remember her name but I'm sure someone in the comments will point it out to me but they do the whole cast practically uh, so I do recommend picking them up if you can but again just be careful with the joints if they if they're stored in an area that tends to get very cold and cold you know temperature drops in the area very fast or the joints w might seize up and they might become even more brittle and if you force it they'll probably more than likely snap oh one other point I forgot to mention on Mal is he does have a kind of ab crunch but he doesn't really utilize it that well when I first got him his body was a bit over to the side so I have to heat him up and get him back into place. So there you go guys, quick video review for Captain Mal, Malcolm Reynolds from the TV series Firefly made by Funko. Hope you enjoyed my review and I hope you, if, as I say in my reviews, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe and feel free to like the video as well. Cheers guys!